moratorium on Marcellus rallied at the state capitol complex in Charleston, West Virginia. WV Forum wants lawmakers to halt all fracking in the Marcellus Shell region. Drilling companies use a combination of horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing, using a mixture of water, sand, and chemicals to break natural gas out of the shale formations. The group wants the moratorium until the legislature can come up with specific regulations governing fracking and horizontal drilling for natural gas. We want a moratorium until these regulations are in place. And we want strict regulations. We want supervised regulations. And that's what we're asking for, uh, is a moratorium until these things happen. And if they cannot come up with strict like, regulations, then we will ask for a ban on this. So um, first we're asking for a waiting period until these regulations are in place. Several speakers were scheduled for the rally, including delegates, environmental groups, lawyers, and current and former Mountain Party candidates, such as former Richwood Mayor Bob Henry Babber, who is running in the October 4th special election for governor of West Virginia. We're probably the only ticket and the only party that's really going to stand up for the surface owners of West Virginia. I hope everybody who sees this, who's a surface owner only, knows that what needs to happen in the legislature probably won't, is we need to protect the surface owners. That is, unless you give permission for your land to be fracked on, no. Uh, when we had strip mining in West Virginia, they stripped people's land against their wills. That was outlawed by the state Supreme Court right down here. We're headed in that direction, but we can't wait 10 years to get there. So that's number one. Number two is we need a 1% permitting fee. That's $40,000 per frack. 1% uh, that's half of what the people are paying on food tax. And that will fund our DEP inspectors and will also be uh, uh, a search or severance tax on the gas so we can create alternative jobs in the future for when the gas is gone. While Cash is optimistic that lawmakers can pass rules and regulations to protect the landowners and the public from potential abuses, Babber is more skeptical, expecting business as usual. Yes, I do think they can. I absolutely think they can. If the will is there and if they're willing to listen to what their constituents want, um, and if they're willing to look at the evidence, uh, because there's there are over 80 instances in the United States of reported contamination of water and air, road damage, land contamination from this industry, from hydrofracking, and if they're willing to look at the evidence, and they're willing to listen to us, and be, respon be responsive to the fact that, uh, you know, that our, our water and air are at risk, they can come up with regulations and they can come up with strict regulations, but their will and their desire to protect us has to be there. And, and so we certainly have a lot of hope that they can do this. Do have hope. I'm really afraid that the legislature is going to wring its hands. You know, the current drilling fee is $600 for the old mom and pop uh, country store wells. These are the Walmarts of wells, and $600 is ridiculous. We have to charge $40,000 per frack, and even that's only 1%. So it's reasonable, and, and if they're going to wring their hands and say, well, uh, 1500 2000 no, that's not going to get it. And what are they going to do to protect the surface owners? Right now they can come to within 200 feet of your house. If we, if we outlaw it on surface owners, then they'll have the prerogative. If they want to let the frackers come in for a fee, that's their prerogative. But otherwise, no, stay off the surface owner's land. Tomorrow we'll talk with members of the newly formed Marcellus Shale Committee about the issues of regulations. Until then, this is Stephen Allen Adams for West Virginia Watchdog.